Good afternoon. Welcome to Holy Family Church as we celebrate Thursday of the octave of Easter. As we gather, please stand and open your hymnals to hymn number 169. Alleluia, 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 hearts to heaven. Hymn number 169. name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Since we're still in the octave of Easter, this will look kind of like a Sunday Mass, because each day this week we celebrate the victory of Christ on Easter Sunday. And so, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the fount of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and pay homage through their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter told the people, all of us can tell you that God has raised Jesus to life. Jesus was taken up to sit at the right side of God, and he was given the Holy Spirit just as the Father had promised. Jesus is also the one who has given the Spirit to us. And that is what you are now seeing and hearing, the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, and how they'd come to know him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking out about this, 
He stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. It is myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones. As you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took and ate it in front of him. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me and the law of Moses and the prophets and Psalms might be fulfilled. And he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Anybody got some pretty good scars from like learning to ride a bike or something like that or anything? Yeah, every scar has a story, right? So I have a spot where I can't grow facial hair now because of basic training. (laughs) I fell about 10 feet and bashed my head open. I couldn't talk for one week. But every scar, so there's a scar right there, has a story. I have a different scar over here from basic training. Then there's scars from this or that, but every scar has a story. Sometimes they show victory, sometimes they might show a little stupidity, right? Sometimes we do dumb things. Well, Jesus' scars show victory. They recognized him through his wounds. He showed him his hands and his feet, the nail marks of his crucifixion. It's proclaiming that the resurrection isn't that Jesus just simply came back to life. They had the same life. And it's also not saying that he rose kind of spiritually, his soul went to heaven. It says today they thought it was a ghost, but then they saw the scars, the marks of his victory. That rather Jesus, who is God, brings our human body, his human body, into the glorified nature of God. His body is shining with radiance and glorified nature. And so that's why each day this week is a mini Easter where we celebrate Jesus' victory. That death, crucifixion, could not defeat him. Rather, he defeated it. So I told people on Sunday, each day this week you're supposed to do something special for Easter. So, go home and ask for a second dessert. Go home and do something festive. Do something as with your friends, your family, Do something that's most important in life. Family and friends, right? So each day, so you've got today left, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They'll still count as many Easter's. So do something to celebrate the victory. Together now, let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions. For the church, for the church and all those called to religious life, may they continue to be filled with the Holy Spirit and lead with faith and wisdom with one voice to praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For all of our sick and suffering, may Christ be your source of comfort, peace, and hope. With one voice we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and all our elected leaders, may Christ's peace help them to serve wisely and humbly. With one voice we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may open their hearts to God's call to serve others in ministry and religious life. One voice we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Family Catholic School community, that we may continue to see Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. With one voice we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bob and Peggy Bowes, for who this Mass is offered, with one voice we pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, as we continue our Easter celebration and immerse ourselves in the joy of the victory of Jesus, fill us now with the grace and the Eucharist we need to live out that joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Preparation of the gifts, please join in singing hymn number 442. Seek ye first, hymn number 442. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts that we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn 
in the hope of your increased help from heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you up more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which we given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the morning of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who will please you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with men in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be. During communion, please join in singing hymn number 570, Alleluia number one, hymn number 
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present age and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. O Lord, be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael. Please open your hymnals to hymn number 390, Celtic Hallelujah, sending forth number 390, each of verses 1 and 2. 